Crompton House is supportive, fun, challenging and helpful. Safe. A very, very nice place to be. Outstanding. And brilliant. Um, it's a really good school, Crompton High School, and our sixth farm is a good sixth farm. We're sort of separate from our main school. We have our own common rooms, upstairs and downstairs. We have our own canteen. It's a really good place to be. I guess I like the school so much because there's never any bullying here. It's just every, everybody's really nice. The teachers are brilliant, and I just really enjoy every aspect of school, just friend life lunchtime, everything. I feel as though that I've been so happy here. I, I felt like I needed to stay on. I've had so much fun and a lot of support, so that's why I stayed on for Sixth Farm. Uh, I'd say it's a very sort of supportive environment, both in terms of your learning, the teachers will help you if you need it, uh, and in terms of your personal development as well. When I first came to Year 12, I thought, oh, it's another school. I might not make friends, might not settle in. But as I came in, everyone was all kind to me happy and yeah all the students are all good good friends. And it's just it's easy to settle in if you come from a different school like it's not like you're closed off because you didn't come to the high school. You can just come in like to the sixth form and you'll make new friends. So throughout school you'd have lots of like groups and everything but when you get to sixth form everybody kind of stops that and you can kind of just talk to whoever you really want to yeah. really. And be friends with everyone as well. Everyone grows up. Right from day one, we're monitoring what they're doing. They get extra tuition and extra help off any of the staff if they need to. Occasionally we have people come in that do talks. We've got some guy coming in this afternoon, Nigel Vardy. He's a mountaineer and he's obviously got a lot of life skills there and a lot of things to, to tell him. It's an inspiration to these younger people, really. We use it when Com support. We say it three times. Mayday, 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 in the hope that one of them gets through. Well, this afternoon I'm going to be speaking uh, on what I call Once Bitten, which is the story of my Alaskan climb. There are lots of messages I put in, but what I'm really looking for them is don't give up. Whatever happens to you, however down you feel, however difficult you think life is, don't give up. We offer good curriculum enrichment on a Wednesday afternoon, and they can do things from rock climbing to cooking on a budget, sign language, all the sports, lots of things. And we also do Duke of Edinburgh at this school as well. We have pretty much everything that they need really here. The Common Town Six One has the facility of and the common room where it's useful to sit down and relax with friends but you can also study where you can go on the tables and get all your course work out. I use a six form computer room because there's only six forms allowed in there so you can do a lot more with it. The upstairs area in the six form centre is a silent study and you've got the IT facilities as well. You get a very dynamic learning, you get the facilities that you need, you get the extracurricular things. Um, and it's a good group of people you tend to find who are actually in the sixth form. We're all basically, you know, trying to do our best and achieve everything and we all help each other out and I think that's what makes this school stand out really. Yeah. It's a good school, there's good teachers, you get a good education but you also have fun and a nice time while you're doing it. Compton House do care Brilliant. about how you are and they do care about you as individuals and they do want you to achieve your best. The teachers set aside times where you can go and speak to them about any problems you have or anything like that. Yeah and they're all really approachable as well so. Say if you're stuck with something, you can always go and knock on the door and they're always yeah. there to help you and stuff. Everything about the school I find is good. They have good rules, they have good standards, everything, everything, the food, the teachers, the people. Big day. Basically find out what the next step is today. Hopefully I'll get my grades. <laughs> <laughs> Need to get to university now. This is one of our most emotionally charged days of the year uh, because this is the day when the young people come in at the end of two years of, of fairly intensive hard work. Them, their parents, their teachers. Um, this is the culmination moment of it and to a certain extent this is the gateway to the rest of their lives. We've got to live with them today and, and be here for them and that's why we like them to come into the school because it's much better than just basically handing results out through the post or the internet or some other means. I've got an A star in biology. And they, and they start to raise the <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping to get 
two A's and a C and I've got an A star, two A's and a B, which gets me in to do optometry at Aston University. <laughs> I've got two A stars, so I'm buzzing. Dead job. And A star and three A's. I'm going to medicine now. <laughs> three A's um, in um, maths, physics, and chemistry. I got an A star and three A's. I'm going to Durham. Um, I don't have to say hopefully anymore. <laughs> no, I know. Yeah. A lot of it was down to teachers and give me, give me the enthusiasm to uh, put, a lot, put a lot of motivation and effort into the two years. Miss Barnes and Miss Cardron for psychology, they were brilliant. Mr. Davis for chemistry and Miss Robinson and Mr. Dunkley for biology. They were just all such great teachers and gave me such great support. I'd just like to say thank you. Definitely Mr. Leggett, yeah, sociology teacher. Mrs. Robinson, Dr. Jackson, Mr. Davis, Mr. Wybrow, uh, Miss Hyam, and uh, Mr. Martin. Mr. Midwinter, who was the Oxbridge coordinator, and uh, Mr. Renton, because he was my French teacher and I'd have done a lot worse without him. So. What I do on this day is uh, offer advice and support for students who find themselves in a situation where they've missed a particular offer by one grade or two grades. Some of the students have to go through the process of clearing. Other students are unsure about how to actually respond to the universities. It can be quite a stressful time. And I think for students to actually find the correct um, response, the correct guidance, is really vitally important. I didn't get the results that I wanted, so it helped me a lot to like kind of plan out what I'm going to do because I didn't think I'd done well enough in myself but he we do our best to be supportive for them. If they think they've missed the university place, we can whiz them into a room with a telephone and a computer and perhaps contact a university and see what we can do for them as soon as we possibly can. So many of our students have really shone today, just showing what they actually have worked for over these, these last years. And sharing that success has been a real, real pleasure for me and for the, uh, the staff that are here today.